Right guys, so today we are doing a full day of eating, but we're not going to be showing you the burgers, the sweeties, the, all that kind of crap stuff. We're going to be showing you good quality food, what we put in our body to make us like this. Anyway, I'm going to be having eight eggs, and then we're going to be having fruit, mushrooms, bread. It's all going to look like that, and it's all going to end up edible. <laughs> so, stay tuned. Health is wealth, as they say. Olive oil. Oh, it's like one of those guns. Freeze! Ah! So, all oh, the mushrooms go there. Excuse me, excuse me, you need to put a tea thing for that. A tea thing? Oh, jeez, oh, a coaster. I remember that when he's come to my house. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> Bit of butter. Bit of coffee and a coffee coaster. One. Oh! Better be quick because they're not going to be fried. You know? What, what? Where's Ainsley Harriet when you need him, man? Oh, shooter, that's not even on. How do you get shredded? Two seconds. Don't get shredded, just get Because my pan's not going on. This was supposed to be the easiest meal of the day. Holy smokes. I'll do it, it's fine. It's just because it's... Oh, Dan. That ended up being the hardest meal. I somehow doubt that. I have a funny feeling that this just might get continuously worse. Guys, bear with us. Got four bits of toast on. Yeah. Teamwork makes a dream work, boys. You got any cheese in yours? Yeah, I'll have a bit of cheese. A little bit of cheese? Mm. I can even look at the big plate because I'm nice. Meal one made. We're going to eat it now. We've got eight eggs for me. Tom's got nine eggs. Yeah. About 100 grams of mushrooms each. Top with a little bit of cheese. Four bits of toast. Some blueberries, some grapes, and some pineapple. Um, and that's meal one, nice and simple. Bon appetit. I'm starving, let's get into it. Right guys, you guys, breakfast is done. That was a, a big one today. But we will see you back in the kitchen for meal two. Hey <coughs> right, guys, we are meal two. It is half ten. Um, so today, as normal, we have Campbell's Meat, um, one of our sponsors. So. We have two ribeye steaks each, and then we've got sticky rice. Easy. Nice. Right. I don't really like rice, but sticky rice is a game cha changer. <laughs> we want to try and make it as quick as we can. Um, I know everyone says, oh, you can get a rice cooker and do all that stuff, but we find it easier just with a sticky rice. Put it in the microwave, two minutes, job done. Slice up the steak. How do you like your cooks, steaks cooked? Medium rare. Oh, cheeky, <laughs> medium rare, huh? I don't even know what that is. Right, you want to cook your, my steaks and I'll cook yours. Well, you'll probably have it well done or something, do you? No, I don't. Medium rare as well. No. Well, that's piping hot, that, boy. I'm a steak master. Obviously, the amount of food we eat. Uh, when I have to have rice, I have to have, like, a lot of rice. So, you know, more than the average person. So like, for me, rice on a plate just gets too hard to eat and stuff. So I actually didn't realize there was much sticky rice until I had it on a meal the other, a few weeks back. I was like, wow, this is a game changer. So I usually go with steak and potatoes, but it's now steak and sticky rice or steak and potatoes for me. Sticky rice, if you want to save an hour of eating steak and rice, get steak and sticky rice. 
I need to concentrate because I'm under pressure because um, this is Luke's one and if I don't do it right you'll go. So give me a row. Do that. Do that, I'm up with 10 seconds more. Yeah. So watch this. 20 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, <coughs> seven, eight, nine, ten, ten up this one over. One, two, three, four, five. Eight, nine, ten. Twenty. Try, try it, Luke. Oh, yeah, I'm very excited. I'm going in 100%, and I'm in a different mindset than I have been in every other year. So, I promise you guys, I will not be finishing less than podium. <laughs> so that's it. But uh, yeah, I was, and I have a right. I always write stuff down on a whiteboard. See, actually, my mum and dad did this all the time, and I took it from them, so. But it's, done, it's our mum's birthday today, so happy birthday, mum. Love ya. Boom. Nice, so, uh, But yeah, so, like, it's six days till we leave for Arnold's. It's about eight or nine days till I can peak, so yeah. And, uh, my queen, my everything, that's so cheesy. She forged my handwriting, wow. He <laughs> so, had ingredients while we were away, so. I better not touch this actually, it's not me allowed to. A wee bit of batter on it. Ah, you can't add anything to it. Oh, that's just mine. Yeah, you can add butter to that. Why can't they add anything on to it? I didn't add any to Luke because he's got a six pack. What have I got already? <coughs> well, that boy, cooking a bit of butter. So they're both meant to be medium rare. So what's medium rare when it's just a bit red? That is medium burnt. That Campbell's meat, the best meat in the business. You might have put holes in the place. Is that what it says? Yeah, you meant, oh, that's why it's burst. All over my... No, it doesn't. Oh, it is. Sorry, you're right. But it's for No, let's get a mine. Do it right, Luke. I'll, I'll, Luke will learn one day. Let it air in the microwave. Oh. Like yours pink, Tom? Uh, geez, that'll do. That's rare. Tom that's wanted that medium rare. Ah, <coughs> medium rare, no f***ing. That's a cow still live in there. Mmm. Mm. Meal too, easy as that, eh? So you see, so I cut my steak for you, what you've cooked. So yeah. you don't cut yourself. That's, a, that's what it's meant to look like. I see, that's a bit more medium, but well done. That's good. Can I have that one? I just need a fork and a spoon. Uh, huh? A spoon. That's how confident I am. My steak's cooked to perfection. That was absolutely creme de la creme. Thank you, Campbell's meat. Oh, right, guys, that's meal number two done. That was a bigger meal, so uh, really nice Campbell's steak with a little bit of teriyaki sauce on top with some rice. Normally we go for about 360 grams of meat, but that was kind of 400 odd. So yeah, that was that done. Um, I've got to shoot off and see Wikoa. I've got to get him some food. He's on the steak now as well. Hi hi. And we'll catch you for meal number three, which is our, that'll be the pre-workout meal, isn't it? Yep. So pre-workout meal coming up soon. We'll see you in the next one. We actually love good this one. Mm. Right guys, so the next meal, I have been talking about fried Mars bars, battered Mars bars on the video before this. I've tried it and I wanted to get one today because I've been craving one. It is a meal before the gym. I'm allowed a cheat meal. Usually it's burgers. But today we are mixing it up with fish and chips, battered Mars bar, ice cream and a battered cream egg. Battered cream egg. Oh, wow. <laughs> so yeah, let's do this. So. It's going to be tasty. Let's get stuck into it. Right, this is a battered Mars bar. Okay, look at this, right? Oh. That's what you call gains. Are you going in or what are you doing? I, it's too enjoyable. I, I want some of that stuff. Huh? 
What? I don't want to eat my Mars bar first, but you know what? What? You don't have any ice cream like you made here. Oh! That is so good. Mm. Stop making those noises when you eat. Hold up. Wow. Battered man's bars are the first Chris things in the world. Is gone. So, now you need to, that's actually unreal. Mm. You had one Tom before. I've never actually had a battered cream egg, so this is going to be, I'll let Luke go first on that one, but that is a first. Right, we'll do it at three. That's so a great idea. Apparently this is all the rage. One bit for wee Tom. That's creamy. Oh. 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 Oh, that's the that's the boy like. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's the white chop. Oh. Mm. Get a wee bit of that, Tom. Mm. Wee Tommy. Get a wee bit of ice cream on it. Mm. Come on, get involved. Get a big bit, get a bit. You need a, get a wee bit of ice cream on. Use your hands, come on. Don't be shy. So that, believe it or not, that was like probably about 600 calories we just had there. Jeez, oh. That you can eat five or six of them. Oh, that was dangerous, that. That, on a Friday night. That is why I always go on about them. Comment below if you think, how many, how many deep fried battered cream eggs you think you could do. I think I could do 10. We might even do a deep fried Mars bar challenge. On the only place you can get them north of Vernas, I, I know, is a dingle chippy. Any other one, any other people know where you can get them, please comment below because I want to hunt. I'm hunting for them. We should do a, like a, a eating competition. But like we are beer meats food or something. You know, like how many deep fried cream eggs you can eat. That'd be pretty cool. I think I could. I think I could do some damage with that, I'm just going to put it out there. You don't feel yapful, that's the annoying thing about them. Like 10 chips feels yap. Like, maybe after you had 10, you'd be like, oh my goodness, this is ridiculous. Meal three done. It's now ruined my day because I wanted a battered Mars bar and uh, I got one. But it just tastes so good for 20 seconds, then it just goes. And now I'm not satisfied. satisfied. And the only annoying thing about them there's 500 calories. If you had a 500 calorie meal, you'd be full. Unless you could go eat the four or five of them. So yeah, I'm going to take a trip to Dingwood tonight. I think I can get another five or six. The weekend's coming up, so I can go pig out then. So I can't wait. So usually our third meal is, is our pre-workout gym yeah. meal. We can have a cheat meal, so that's why we had the fish and chips in there. We want to be, spice it up a wee bit. And I mean, big shout out, but a battered cream egg is unreal. That is my first ever time having a battered cream egg, and geez. If you want to spice up your cream egg, take it to a chippy, ask them to put a batter on it, and boom, thank me later. Anyway, wheel free done. We're going to go train. We'll see you after. Right, guys, that is the gym just finished off. So, good session. Uh, I did some legs, some strict log, um, feeling a wee bit of a pump on. So, after the gym, Tom and I struggle to get a big meal in, so we just come back home, or come back to Tom's. Meal four, a uh, couple of scoops off. Our own Iron, Iron Brook uh, protein and then some grapes as well. So my chef Tom, my assistant, sorry, will make it up. Um, so yeah, this is meal number four. And then this is the second last meal of the day. The last meal is nice and simple. Back to steak, rice and some veg. And then that is us. Good to go. Right then, that is a post gym meal done. Again, nice and simple. This is the only shake we normally have. Um, again, just because we need to get some protein in after the gym and we're not the biggest eaters after we train. So that's why you can see that we ate a bit more. So that kind of like a bigger steak and rice meal um, and a bigger breakfast this morning, so that'll keep us going. That's why the cheat meals come in handy as well, because if you're training for three or four hours, you're like us, you don't have an appetite, then four hours of food is a long time, but I, I know a cheat meal will help you keep, kind of keep more fuel and then, yeah, a nice, easy uh, protein shake. 
this is way isolated as well. Much easier to get yeah. down for me. Especially once the weather gets warmer as well. That's when it's like, ah, it you go once when it's uh, harsh. The gym gets really hot. You don't want to eat, you don't want to do nothing but just drink for juice. Uh, right, guys, well, that is meal number four done. So one more meal. So we will see you for meal number five in a couple of hours. Right, guys, final meal of today is back onto the Campbell's ribeye steak. So we'll have one steak each. We've got some veg um, and then some sticky rice. So I'll get the frying pan on. Last meal, job done. Wait, I've got a different plan. We are taking this bad boy out today. Oh, the ninja. The ninja. Oh, I have started cooking steaks in this recently and I can guarantee you this steak, this will be anything you put on this. Can you open it, please? Oh, right, okay. I'll put it in. It's a, it sound, doesn't sound good. When I first started, I was like, air fryers are for like chickens and potatoes and that. No, steaks. So. Gordon Ramsay, if you're watching this, let us know what you think. So look at this, right? One. One. Look at that, perfect, right? And it's simple. 13 minutes. And we just wait. 13 minutes. What do we do in 13 minutes? It's a perfect temperature. Let's go play a game of pool. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of Ronnie O'Sullivan. Sullivan. Jeez, oh. Oh, that's awful, look. Oh, a lot of bad gems there. Oh, go on, son. <coughs> oh, Jizzy. Stop. Look and listen. Smooth. That's a shot. It's only what he was doing there, eh? Oh. Oh! It's got it! Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh. Hey, that's not bad. That's bad. Undefeated. Come on now, boys. What do you think, guys? You've got enough for one more game? Let's go. <laughs> Come on, there, boys. Yeah, I'm saying I deserve to win that. Aye, but you didn't. <laughs> that's so annoying. Spicy! Oh. Go on, son. Oh, you little rat bag. I meant that. That's horrendous. Knowledge. Man. Knowledge. Watch this double. <laughs> Lights down there. Oh, Take that one. There. Oh, unlucky. Oh, this. <laughs> oh. I brought this yes. one in, it's all over. Yes. Yes. That's two games to me. I didn't get beat once, I lost myself to game. I lost myself. That. Well it's perfection. Wow, try that. <laughs> Perfect. Seriously. He's going to say wow because he cooked it better than your earlier. Not bad for an air fryer anyway. Oh, that's not bad, yeah. That's good. Don't know if he's just saying that or not. Nah, it is, it's alright. At the moment, I like, I'm enjoying my steak, so that's why I'm eating more steak. Um, I know when I eat red meat, I perform better. I don't know if it's a placebo effect that uh, happens or whatever, but for me, I know I um, get a bit more, I don't know, energy, aggression, I guess, when I'm competing from red meat as opposed to if I was eating fish, lots of fish or chicken or white meats. But with that being said, like if I don't feel like having a steak, I can switch it to the chicken like the other night, I had some chicken tenders with the same kind of setup as this, but it was chicken tenders with rice. 
and veg. Um, so it just depends what I feel like. So I think that's the, the nice thing with these diets is that you can have a bit more of a choice, which is good. And look at that, there's no excuse for anyone. Literally, steak, rice, and veg, no mess, one machine, 15 minutes later, bang. Or you could cook it in a frying pan. Yeah, oh, well, but I'm just saying, if you don't want mess, <laughs> buy one of them. With that being said, I mean, we do appreciate you, Campbell's, for sponsoring us and giving us all the meat that costs a lot of money. And that's why Campbell's is good quality, because they can good quality on a pan, good quality on a cooker, good quality in an oven, and good quality in an air fryer. Yeah, so Campbell's meat actually do a uh, Stoltman steak. Um, well, get it out. You've got one in the freezer, haven't you? You ought to see it. The bottom shelf. Come on, have a look, guys. Let's have a look what's in Tom's freezer. Look at the size of this. So that weight. 1.5 kgs. 1.67 kilos of beef. So that is the Stolten steak. And obviously that's a bit spanned when it cooks off. That's a lot of a. Uh, it's a big bit of meat in your mouth. <laughs> Final meal of the day oh, um, is the steak cooked by Chef Tommy in the air fryer with some sticky rice and some veg. And again, this is how we cook most, day, like most days, so it might not be the best, whatever, but we use a lot of like microwave stuff, so whack it in the microwave, job done. We're all about the, the quickness of cooking. Um, so yeah, bon appetit, let's see how this goes. Or something from. Mm. Guys, the last meal of the day is done. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed eating food. I enjoyed the meal before the gym especially. But anyway, yeah, that is our day of eating. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We are gonna go home and chill. Well, I don't know. I'm gonna go and chill and uh, go to sleep because I'm tired after all that eating. And uh, it was a big session. We've got a big session tomorrow, so better get ourselves prepared. But anyway, Stay safe, smile, and stay spicy. And please don't ever stop ringing that little bell. Ding a little, 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 little. Rocky. You should have just left. Rocky, down. Down, down, Rocky. Rocky down. Down, come on, down. Why is he misbehaving so much? <laughs> Rocky, get down. Rocky. Hey, Rocky, come on. That's one for the video. Right, off you go. Yeah. Rocky, go bed. Leave him this time, Tom. Hey. Well, that's Tom's dogs. Bed. Tom's dogs. Bed. Wanting a wee bit of Tom's steak, that's what it was.